How to get the mass? Well, mass density is mass per volume. That means that the, the mass is going to be the mass density times the volume. And I have the volume. It's 1,000 cubic centimeters. So I'm going to say, okay, the density of water, you can get this in an index. Density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. I got a thousand grams, uh, excuse me, a thousand cubic centimeters of water. Cubic centimeters cancel. That gives me a thousand grams. I want to remind you, this is not a conversion because I'm calculating the mass based on the, the volume. I'm not just changing units, I'm calculating a separate quantity. It's just that in this case, the density is easy to calculate. Now the temperature difference, I need to work an equation for that. It's the final temperature, T2, minus initial temperature, T1, which is 100 degrees Celsius minus 80 degrees Celsius, which would be 20, now it's a temperature difference now, so it'll be 20 Celsius degrees. So now I've got a mass that I've calculated of 1,000 grams, temperature difference of 20 Celsius degrees. We have everything we need to put into that working equation. So let's try it. We've got 1,000 grams. That's my mass. My specific heat is one calorie. It takes one calorie of energy to raise a gram of water at one Celsius degree. Temperature difference is 20 Celsius degrees. Well, so far I can get rid of my grams and my Celsius degrees, and so I've got calories of energy on top. On the bottom, I've got the voltage, which is 110 volts. And instead of 110 volts, I'm going to call that 110 joules per coulomb, because that's what a volt is. I've got a current of 8 amps. Instead of amps, I'm going to call that 8 coulombs per second, because that's what an amp is. It's the rate at which that charge moves. The coulombs cancel. That's great, but look at this. I've got two energy unit systems. I've got one over one over seconds. That's great. That's going to give me seconds, and I want my time in seconds. But I've got this energy, calories, and this energy, joules. They're both energy. They should cancel out. They're just different units. So I need to put in a conversion in there to take care of that. So uh, look in the book. There are 4.184 joules in one calorie. So the calories cancel, the joules cancel, I wind up with 1 over 1 over seconds. I wind up with seconds, which is time. So let me see what I get here. Um, let's see. First off, just guessing, I've got about 20,000 over 100, which would be about 200 over 8, or 10, you know, maybe 20, 80. Yeah, maybe about a hundred, hundred seconds. Let's see what we get. We've got a thousand. Ninety-five point one. So that should take about ninety-five point one seconds. So for this section. We've talked about fluid energy, Bernoulli's equation, um, and how you might use it. We've talked about capacitors, energy stored in a capacitor, energy stored in an inductor, electrical energy, and thermal energy. Take all those equations that we've used, put them all in one spot uh, so you can see them all at once and make sure you understand them all. Include Ohm's law and, uh, and the mass density equation that we used. Make sure all that makes sense. Oh, and don't forget volume flow rate and make sure that you can solve these equations on your own too.